This is an introduction into the Visual Advanced Production Scheduler for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. The VAPS, the Visual Advanced Production Scheduler, is the first finite capacity scheduling extension that fully integrates into Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. In this video, I will demonstrate the VAPS with a typical use case, how many of our clients work with this product. After that, I will summarize the benefits, the key features, and make some final comments on the availability of the VAPS. The use case is the case of a mid-sized manufacturing company with a bit more complex production structures. The customer does both, make to order and make to stock, and they plan by machine center. They cannot overload machines and have a pretty full schedule for the next three weeks. Now a key customer calls and wants them to deliver three items as fast as possible. All items are make to order items. The first struggle then is to give a realistic delivery date. Now the second struggle comes. The customer urges the client to deliver one item earlier. He says better today than tomorrow. You decide to squeeze it in. This brings you to the third struggle. You need to know which other jobs turn late because you squeeze in this rush order. Let's have a look how you can master these struggles with the VAPS. This is the VAPS. We are now in the simulation area. So this is the main area of work where we have the production simulations. These are various versions of your production schedule and they are all based on uh, data that you copy into temporary table that we keep as long as you want them. So now let's look at our use case um, and let's open the simulation. So let's open the production schedule and we see we have a pretty solid production schedule for this week, next week and the week after. So my drilling machines, pretty busy. My milling and turning machines, pretty busy. Sawing uh, this week, next week, then a bit of gap and then some orders waiting here. Uh, this is, by the way, the today line. This is where we start scheduling and this is where we end the integration with MRP. Uh, but this is a different story for different uh, video. And you see some, some good work lot on the welding and also like the finishing and the quality control is pretty busy. So there's a solid schedule. We have the released production orders in orange and the firm plan production orders in, in a dark blue. And of course we can release a production order from here. So now let's go to the use case. Um, so I'm the production planner, I've done my job pretty well to have a solid schedule, um, good machine utilization. And by the way, if I look at my schedule, if I change this color mode to the, what we call the progress view, then we see orders that are late and from here, you see the color changes and everything is green right now to so all orders finish in time. So all jobs finish in time. I have done pretty, pretty decent job with scheduling. And so now um, while I have this open, my guys in sales, uh, they get a new sales order where they sell three items as we have in the use case. Uh, 50 of item 5003, 40 of this item and 60 of that item. And the customer wants it by the 25th of February 21. And in my demo system, it is the 28th of January 21. So they want it pretty much in, in four weeks from now. And you saw that the schedule is really full. And, and, and the question is, can we get this done or not? So what I do now is I create a production order from this sales order. Um, let me do this and we create a production order from the sales order. It's firm plan and we do it as a project order so that we get one new firm plan production order, uh, 101104. And this is now created. And just from here, let's quickly go to the firm plan production order so that we see what I did. Is This is my firm plan production orders. This is the new one that I just created. And what we do now is we say, okay, when we look at it in the visual advanced production scheduler, we want to give it a specific color. So let's make this somewhat green so that it stands out. So now let's go back. Salespeople created the new production order. Now I'm the sales guy and say production scheduler. Hey guy, when is the green production order or the green sales order ready in production? And you see that now I get a message simulation is outdated because new data has been added to the simulation. So now, uh, or to business centered. So now I can update the simulation, which means I fetch the new data that was created 
And so now I get this new production order in my schedule and it shows up on the standby resource and it, the standby resource is the, the resource that contains all those production orders that I as the production or, uh, scheduler needs to deal with because they have been added by Business Central. So now you might wonder why this isn't showing green because we look at it by production order status in orange is firm uh, released and blue is firm planned. So let me switch the coloring and then we say, okay, now switch this by production order. And then you will see that everything on standby shows up in green as was defined. And so now it is my job to add this to the schedule. And so what I can do is I can say schedule them all, add them all, and look within all allowed alternatives for those that are able to get this done at earliest. So now I added everything to the schedule using also some free capacity on some of the machines very early so that I get start on this as soon as possible. And now if I switch on from the green one to the sales order view, then we see, okay, for this sales order with those three items, 5,000 through 60 times, 5,350 units and 5,440 units, we see, okay, actually we can tell the customer, look, we can deliver item 5,002 on the 23rd. We can deliver this one even before the weekend and we can deliver that one um, also like in time on the 23rd. So we will meet the required due date of the customer. And so now the customer say, well, this is fine, but actually what is the earliest time that you can deliver item um, item 5003? I really need to have this urgently. And you see from here that there is actually long waiting time because we can use some welding machines very early, but then it needs to wait until the drilling and milling because um, the other machines are locked with orders. So let me go back to the capacity view and look at this item from here. And do you see the same structure? It is immediately here. This is today. It goes to welding very early. So tomorrow it goes to welding and then it has to wait here for drilling. And now um, what we can do is what I can do is I can say scheduled successors. Then it brings forward the successors of this and accelerates this as fast as I can. So I minimize the throughput time for this through the shop you see once done in welding it goes immediately to drilling it goes to milling and then it boils down here and so now I can actually tell the customer hey the earliest date that we can deliver this is the 8th of February so really really fast however and now this is the question okay now I had this pretty cool schedule where everything was in time so by accelerating this by squeezing this in which orders got impacted and so now let's go back to the color mode with the progress view and then we see okay by making this change all these jobs here turn late. So now I need to kind of make make my mind, do I want to accelerate this one on the cost of all of those customers? Is it that important customer? So I need to, I, I would talk to sales again and say, do we really want to kind of annoy these customers or can we afford having all these jobs late because we accelerate them? Or let me undo this. Should we give the customer a realistic time delivery time for that and have everything in time? So this is the one use case that we looked at. And of course, there are mu much more use cases, but for an introductory demo and an introductory video, I thought that this is really a nice case so that you can see which kind of benefits you get when working with a visual advanced production scheduler. Now that you've seen the VAPS in action, let's summarize the benefits that you get from working with the Visual Advanced Production Scheduler. First, you will make faster and better decisions. With the VAPS, you see the schedule at one glance, both as a resource Gantt chart and with a sales order view. You rapidly understand dependencies and quickly spot issues. The VAPS allows you to fix these issues fast and every change to the schedule automatically updates the entire schedule without ever overloading machines. 
This then second results in happier clients. The VAPS enables you to make more reliable delivery time commitments and hence lets you deliver as promised. Even better, it provides you with all the tools needed to squeeze in rush jobs in a controlled manner. However, the VAPS does not stop at increasing your customer satisfaction. Third, the VAPS enables you to make better use of your resources. You not only quickly understand your capacity and resources, but you can maximize your throughput by automatically reducing idle times on your machines. This is a built-in function. And this brings me to the key features that makes these benefits happen. The VAPS has a lot of features that make it outstanding. It is built on the rock-solid Business Central manufacturing fundament and enhances this fundament to provide an unprecedented scheduling experience. It comes with an automatic finite capacity scheduling engine. It lets you create multiple production scheduled simulations. It takes into account material availability when scheduling. It schedules with alternative machine centers. It smoothly integrates with MRP and the planning worksheet. It has both a capacity and a sales order view. It allows you to pin operations and it comes with meaningful color schemes to support different scheduling challenges. The VAPS is available for all Business Central versions and is available both on-prem and on Microsoft App Source.